cataractcoach.com, posterior polar cortical cleaving. Now, this is mechanical without fluid. Our guest surgeon is Dr. Neto Rosatelli from Brazil. Dr. Rosatelli is one of my favorite surgeons to watch. He is so incredibly talented. Now, look at the video here. It's a patient with a posterior polar cataract. Now, we know from previously published studies from OSHA and Vasavita that there is a one out of three risk of posterior capsule rupture. But let's see what Dr. Rosatelli does differently. So here, making the capsule rexus, starting off though with just the forceps. Important to get a five millimeter rexus here, maybe five and a half. And the reason is, remember, if the capsule breaks, the posterior capsule, you need to be able to place a sulcus IOL and hopefully with optic capture. But Dr. Rossitelli here has a way of doing this with minimizing the risk of rupture. Let me show you. Of course, a beautiful rexus, exactly five millimeters. We expect nothing less from a master surgeon like Dr. Rossitelli. Now, hydrodelineation of just the central endonucleus. Now, using this blunt-tipped instrument here, this hook, and the phaco probe, this central endonucleus is going to be removed. So you can see he's dolling around there. Notice that we've done zero hydrodissection. That's the risky step for a posterior polar. So what's going to happen now is watch carefully. This instrument, the hook, is being placed to mechanically separate the epinucleus and even some of the cortex from the capsular bag. Now switching hands. This is why. You ask me, why do you have to practice with your non-dominant hand? Watch now. Faco probe left hand. Chopper going in the right hand. Dr. Rossitelli can use both hands equally well. Can you? Very important question. So passing this instrument, again, the hook, and separating that cataract from the capsular bag, nice and easy. This is a mechanical separation. So mechanical delineation and dissection at the same time. So that's done 360. Notice there are two paracentesis incisions. And now once that's done, this cataract can be aspirated quite easily. So now removing it here, spinning it around using high vacuum, high flow, minimal amount of phaco energy. It's not a very dense cataract. That whole nucleus and epinuclear shell can be removed, and they've already been dissected away from that posterior capsule. So if you look carefully down there at the posterior capsule, you can still see where that posterior polar opacity was attached. And using just the IA probe, boy, all the nucleus and 95% of the cortex has been removed. Beautifully done. Now switching to the IA probe, just some sub-incisional cortex to be removed. Filling the capsular bag. That just looks beautiful. So there is some sub-incisional cortex that can be removed quite easily. Placing the probe inside the eye. You can do it by manual. Here we're just doing it coaxially and it removes very easily. So a very unusual technique here. So in the past, I've advocated use of viscoelastic, using a dispersive viscoelastic to viscodissect the cortex and epinuclear shell away from the capsular bag. In this situation, Dr. Rosatelli is showing us he can use a mechanical approach and using this hook instrument, which is like a chopper with a blunt tip, to mechanically separate the lens material from the capsule. Here comes the IOL going right inside the capsular bag. That looks great. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens with four haptics. And at the end of the case, aspirating out the viscoelastic. So beautifully done here. Now this looks like an aggressive technique. Now Dr. Rossitelli has assured me that he's tried this many times. And this is preferred technique for posterior polar cataracts. Now, it does require one important thing, and that is you have to have the dexterity to do it. And not just dexterity with your dominant hand, but also dexterity with your non-dominant hand. Both hands have to have equal dexterity to go and physically separate with a mechanical basis the cataract from the capsular bag. 
And at the end of the case here, look at that, just a beautiful result. This patient is going to be happy. And Dr. Rosatelli reports that the risk of complications like posterior capsular rupture is much reduced using this technique. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website, cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself what's the name of those forceps.